Yes, yes, yes. Now, good morning. Now, good afternoon, my people. Good morning, good afternoon. So, before we jump into to this topic, I want to send a quick warning. A quick warning to APC. So, APC, when I arrest Reverend Olu Martins, when I arrest Reverend Olu Martins, okay? Everybody knows, say, na APC, na Nyan or Patapas for this social media. Na na Nyan or Patapas, but na na they quick to go to police station. Na na fe they slap person, na 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 fe they run, they reach police station. So this is a warning alert to Kabaka, to Kotisubo, to Automatic War. You see, this game one and one play, so we just a remind you, I say, now I start time. Was one. You understand? And I'll talk. You know, Pata Pass for social media. Now, I'm forced to see the go police station to go arrest person. Waka bomb, I'll be waka with your police, you know. So that's by the wayside. I just say, me, I quickly talk that one. So today, I want to talk about Curtis and Okaigili. Curtis and Okaigili. Now, for people that don't understand the meaning of Okaigili, according to my brother Abad, Okaigili means youth leader. You see, Curtis in. I'm a nere nefo. Okay, I'm a nere nefo. I was this close, this close from becoming a courtist. Even to today, some of my friends never believe that I didn't join court. Okay? Some of my friends, they don't believe say I not the court. You understand? You get the way my name Conre reached for Ogida. I'm, I'm the Ogida boy. Before my family decides say, I got to have more of a nari. Neither bomb my maru, or no matter the bing your maru. You understand? So my cousin's brother, I'm a nere nefo. You understand? I remember uh, New York, you know, yellow cap. I know a lot of people that make a lot of money through yellow cap. You know, in New York, I know a lot of Yoruba people. I learned a lot of Ghanaians that are working in government now that make money from New York yellow cap. But today, New York, New York yellow cap is out of business because of Uber. You understand? I'm in Nere Nefo. You see, the boys, the Ogida boys won't show me use for his government. The Ogida boys won't show me use. I'm telling you, I'm a Ogida boy. You see, the Ogida boys won't show me can't use. Those ones, eh, when we day streets for Ogida, those ones see they wear pants. You understand? So, I'm in Nere Nefo. Today, as we speak now, I don't know if they are passing to law now. It is illegal to be a courtist in Benin, in Edo State. It's 13 years imprisonment. Okay? So this one, when they are Kobe, they talk, bra, 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 bra. Okay, I know that is a battle, Kaheli, because they are still the same thing. It's not going to change it. Like we may want to talk. He say, after God, not government. But I don't agree with that. Even God, they respect government. In the Bible, Jesus said, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. Caesar was the government of the day. You understand? There's a guy I used to follow. His name is Grant Cardone. He's an, he's an American uh, financial guru, a real estate expert. He said, pay your tax. That's how powerful government is. You must settle government first. So whether after government not God or God after God, God not government, the law is the law. Is 13 years imprisonment without the option of fine. You understand? Okay, according to Mr. Abatobaze, the government did not ban Okaigele. What the government banned is the activities of Okaigele. You understand me? These two people carried 13 years imprisonment. I mean, Nere Nefo. You understand? There are people that benefited from courtesy. I just give you an example. The Ogida boys that benefited from Oshomole, those man was very part when, when we were in Ogida. And when we come out, they, they take advantage of the opportunity that, that Oshomole give to them. But it's over. Okagele, Mr. ATM machine, 
when our activity has been suspended. Okay, it, it, it's, it's against the law. When our activity, okay, or Kagali and courtism, it's against the law. You understand? So we come back to the age we are now. Okay, the age we are now, we call it the Aquarius age. Okay, we are in the Aquarius age where creativity and innovation rule the world. You understand? We are in an Aquarius age. So people that are born in, in January are called Aquarius. So Aquarius people, they are creative, they are innovative. Okay? In an in honorary mass world, or on a, and for average mass, you understand what I'm saying? It's called thinking outside the box. You understand? So it doesn't matter if you are an, an employee, if you are a business owner, you must come up with something. You must come up with an idea to add value to your employee. If you're an employee, to add value to your employer's business. If you're a self-employed, if you're a business person, to add value to your business. So it is imperative now for you to be creative and innovative. This is the age. Every, every time everybody got his age. I'll give you an example. There, there were agrarian age. Okay. There were, there, were, there were different ages, but, but we are in Aquarius age now. I'll give you an example. My father was a driver. He survived. He was able to make a living. Even at the end of the day, become a chief. Our bad father is a Volkswagen, a, a Volkswagen mechanic. He was able to have children. Most of his children are graduate. I think I'm the only graduate in my family as well. But what is happening today is different. Okay, what is happening today is different. These, these days we have now, ideas and creativity and innovation. Aquarius said is what we survive you. Okay, what survived our father, what survived our grandfather cannot survive us today. You understand? So, the, the, the point we are trying to make now is that we have to change. We, we have to change. You see, the time of our father, the time of our grandfather, to marry three wives was easy. To marry four wives was easy. To marry two wives was easy. But today, to even marry one wife is difficult because things have changed. Even the women are competing with the men. If you build one house, woman won't build two houses. So it's a different ball game. Barry Allen, Barry Allen, one of the most successful black Americans, said, you, you, you didn't just get the message. The emails, the emails have been sent to your inbox. You didn't check it. We are in Aquarius age. Let me quote Aswego Godalo so you understand my point. Now, Aswego Godalo said, you may think you have an idea, great idea. You put it in a table and it goes belly up, face up. You just have, you just have to keep going. You reboot Go back, rethink, re rework, and start again. But you must keep persevering. You must be persistent. You must keep persistent. I will repeat that. As well, Godalo said, you may think you have an idea. Great idea. You put it in a table and it goes belly up. Face up. You just keep going. You reboot. You go back, rethink, rework, and start again. You see, Aswe Igodalo was in a partnership. He's a business guy. So he understands this philosophy. He understands this concept that in today's world, to survive is always coming up with an idea. Okay? I come up with an idea. I spend over 20 to 30 million to start a business. And it didn't work. I have to go back and start all over again. You understand? But the more I keep making this mistake, the more I keep getting better. Okay? There's a guy called James Allen. So, James Allen come up with editing stuff in your mind. You know, to edit stuff in your mind. You understand? Before you, like, uh, uh, as we go to talk, before you put it to the table, before you invest money. You understand? Because if you edit it in your mind, if you write it in your book, if you plan it, you are able to do the analysis, the strength, the weaknesses, and everything of this idea. You won't have to go and make the mistake we make by spending 30 million era to start a business. And the business, no profit, I went belly up. You understand? I'll give you an example so that you can understand my point. 
And Batoba said, okay, he starts Yahoo Yahoo. He not work. He went into politics. He's still in politics. Then he went into entertainment industry. Now, the entertainment industry he went in, he was telling us that he can't do it. He said the entertainment industry is like advanced begging or what you call uh, Chorotti in Italy. He said he can't do it. But people like 24 Beat have been doing this uh, entertainment industry, bringing musicians from Nigeria to come and play in Europe, in Canada, in America. In fact, they use it to build house. They use it to buy Jin Wango. But he cannot do it. But wh why I bring Abato Baze in, first of all, you can agree whether it's a graduate or, or it's not a graduate. But what I'm trying to make is that is the, is the coming up of different ideas. You understand? He, he, now he's a content creator. You understand? He's coming up with different ideas. What will work for him? So my advice to Okagele and Cortizim, or people that have benefited a lot from Cortizim and Okagele, what I'm trying to tell you is that we live in an Aquarius age. It's an age of thinking outside the bus. If one way closed, you open another way. You cannot say, I must do, I must be on Okagele before I die. I must, I must be a Cortizim before I die because I'm benefiting from him. Bene, bene, benefiting from that business. That, that is a quick way to die. I'll give you an example. My own sister was the Oduga in Italy for all this uh, guest business. But the government break her back. Kabaka was a was Oduga in, in Edo State. Even when he go Lagos, that the in the hela, but government break it back. The point is, you have to rethink, rework, restart, come up with a new idea. This is the age we have. Okay? I've lost more money trying to make a business work than I've gained from business. But I keep going. That's to tell you that you have to keep growing. You have to keep growing. You understand me? So, let me have another, uh, let me give another example with uh, Osano Kweno Hodri. Osano Kweno Hodri was part of Okaegele. Osano Kweno Hodri was part of CDA. But when government come, banned that business. Osano Kudu, he went into sea of old. He started using, waiting left for college, waiting left for school to work. So that's what I'm telling people like Okagele, uh, Cortis, that are people that have benefited a lot for Cortis, that have make a lot of money. Restrategize, rethink, rework, start again. If you say in one place you won't die put, and you won't follow government, fight. See, eh, the only thing that can change this law is if APC enter, they can't de decide to revert this law. People like uh, Akpato Alomide was in a Ranomigo show. You understand? I will say 25% of the cause he got was still related to courtism. You understand? And those people are tired of courtism. And those people are tired of Okaheli. You understand? So what I'm advising my brothers now is, I know you people have children. You know, you want to take off your children. You, you have to do something. So the best advice I will give to you is a, is a book I read called The Rules of Entrepreneurship. And an advice from a guy called Dan, Dan Locke. Go and go on, on YouTube. To, so, to survive now, since government are bringing a law to ban your business, is to look for a business that any business or anything that you can learn for six months. Now tell her, you know, anything that you can learn for six months, that you can, you know, that you are going to start immediately, that, that, that is going to provide money for you to feed your family. That is what you have to do now. But say you won't listen to Akobe here. You won't listen to Kotisubo. And you won't fight government. Either you go prison or they will kill you. That is the only advice. Because of Mahim, you understand? We are one. You understand? Let me just... Quote as well, Godalo. He said, Courage and persistence goes hand in hand. Courage and persistence go hand in hand. If you don't stay persistent, you will fall. If you don't stay, stay persistent, you will fall. So, the point I'm trying to make to you, my brothers, my Okagele brothers, my Curtis brothers, is that this is the only way. If government ban this one, look for another thing to start. You understand? If government banned it, businesses are doing it. Corporations are doing it. 
individuals are doing it. Like uh, 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 as we go down the store, it's a courage and persistent. You need courage and persistent. That's the only way. Say you won't go fight the government. I tell my him, yeah, we have worry, we have da. You understand? Let me finish this video with a quote from Olumatis. Reverend Olumatis said, I don't stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. I don't stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. That is, that is the only option you have. Keep coming up with new ideas. So what I do, Reverend Olumatis says something about his father. His father did not go to university. His father did not, he's not a graduate. But the, the father read newspaper from the beginning to the end. From the beginning to the end. To get new languages. To get new ideas. I did that. I, if I go to Nigeria and I buy business newspaper, business day, to come with, to read, to come up with new ideas. The last time I was in Nigeria, I had 25 ideas in my head. That this is, this 25 ideas, this is the business I'm going to start when I enter Edo State. But out of, out of the 25, I did research, I visited various businesses, I see how it's run. Out of that 25, I reduced it to nine. So what I'm saying is that you don't necessarily have to read newspaper. You can buy business books. They call them self-help books. You know, to give you new ideas, you know. Uh, it, it, this is not even only for employees. Or, sorry, this is not only for business people or entrepreneurs. This is even for employees. You understand? Even, you will see now, even employers, if they are advertising for job, okay, they will, tell, they will say, you, mo you must be self starter you must be self-starter. You must be able to think for yourself. These are what we are calling, this is Aquarius. This is the age of mind. This is the age of, of able to think. As an employee, you need to read books to get ideas. Okay? Dr. Habib Olamitoye, that, that wrote the book, uh, The Strangest Way of Making Money, said, he makes sure that all his employees read one book a month. He makes sure that all his employees read one book a a month. He said he, he doesn't care whether the employee leave him or not, but he just wants there to be better. You understand? So this is this has nothing to do with I be graduate or I not be graduate. Pick up a business newspaper like I do, like a Reverend Olim Olimatus do, or buy books, books they call themselves help books to get new ideas, to, to, to be able to put yourself in, you, you, don't fight government. Okay, the only thing when go save now if APC win and they revert this law. Of Okagele and courtesy. Otherwise, you are gone. Okay? My name is Victor Vince. I'm a life coach. I'm a business coach. I'm a financial literacy teacher. And I'm also a leadership teacher. Thanks for watching and do have a productive day. Take care. Bye for now.